this is good. Well, I just took a break from doing the videos because I was starving. Yeah. Well, we eat because we feel hungry. Well, sometimes we aren't hungry and then there are times that we are just cannot control our hunger. Now, which are the different phrases that can be used in English to describe the different levels of hunger? This is what we are going to learn in today's English lesson. Well, I am Neharika and you're watching me on Let's Talk and I'm going to help you with some phrases to talk about hunger. Now, before we start, I have to mention that all these words, if you really look up at the dictionary for their meanings, they are way too extreme terms. But in English, people do love to use extreme terms to describe less extreme things. So these are just phrases that you can use in your everyday English to say you are hungry. The first phrase that you can use is one of the most common one. Yeah, like I mentioned, I am starving. When you are really hungry, you can use this one. How do you use it though? Are we done with this meeting yet? Cause I'm starving. That's how you use this phrase. Another one is my stomach is growling. Now our bodies make noises all the time. A noisy abdomen does not necessarily mean that you're hungry. It's the digestive system that causes stomach sounds. But this phrase is commonly used by people when they are really hungry. So even if the stomach is not making any noise, it's just the way of saying that you are so hungry. So how do you use it in your conversation? Oh my God, I am hungry. Look, my stomach is making noises. My stomach is growling. Yes, so which means that it's time for you to eat something. Somebody just give me something to eat because I am hungry. Another English word that you can use to say that you're hungry is ravenous. Yes, again, this is an extreme term to describe an extreme level of hunger and lack of food. It implies a person could eat almost anything just to have some food. But once again, like this term is commonly used when a person is simply very hungry. It would not describe the need for like a small snack. You actually want something nice, like probably a lunch or probably a dinner because you missed eating at work and that's why you're really, really hungry. Now someone says that, uh, hey, uh, would you like to have some sandwich? And you'll be like, you're really hungry and you'll be like, oh yes, please, I'm ravenous. Yes, now this is slightly lighthearted word, but one of the most common word that people do understand. The next one is I'm peckish. Well, being peckish is much less severe term that is used to describe someone being hungry, but not very hungry. Now, it would be used to describe someone looking for a snack or maybe like a small lunch rather than being very hungry. It is often used with addition of these words like, I am a bit peckish. So like, are you hungry? Oh yes, I'm a bit peckish but I can't wait for another one, so probably I'll eat the sandwich. So it's quite a very, uh, I would say, a nice word to use when you are like maybe in an office setup, uh, in a corporate setup, and you don't wanna use words like extreme words, like I am starving or my uh, stomach is growling and my stomach is making noises. So rather than using these terms, you can just say that uh, I'm a little peckish. So since I was uh, doing these videos right now and I just thought of taking a break, I'm not really, really hungry, but I'm just a little 
peckish. Like I'm a bit peckish. So I am eating some snack. Okay. There you go. So that's how you use this word in your English conversation. Here's the next one. I could eat a horse. Yes, this is a very lighthearted and almost a very funny term. Some people think that this is used because eating a horse <laughs> is something not many people do, right? Or would do ever. Well, others suggest that it came from the fact that a horse is very big and by saving like a big horse for your meal, well, it shows a clear indication that you are very hungry and you can actually eat up the whole horse. The term would be used among friends to tell them that you're feeling very hungry. So rather than using it in your office setup, well, it's just fun to use it with your friends and family. Here's another one for you. I am famished. Now this one is also used when you are extremely hungry. Hey, don't you have anything in the fridge to eat? I am famished. Yes. Now that's how you use it. So it's just an interesting term that you can use it again with your friends and family. Just instead of saying plain that I am hungry, you can say I am famished. Okay, next one is I've got the munchies. When you use this phrase, when you are really drunk and you are craving for a snack. Yes, it's late in the night. Probably you were at the bar drinking and dancing and you actually didn't eat your meals. Yeah, when you go out, uh, you tend to just uh, eat some snacks and that's about it. Like it's more of finger food rather than having a complete meal when you go out with your friends drinking. Now, because you are super drunk, you also feel dehydrated later and hungry. So what's the phrase that you can use? Oh, well, I have got the munchies. Yes, that's how you use this word saying that I or phrase that I have got some munchies like which means that you're hungry and you really want to eat something because your tummy needs it. So guys, these are the seven phrases that you can learn in English instead of just saying that I am hungry. Well, here are the more interesting ones. So being hungry is like an everyday thing. So which means that you get to practice these phrases every single day. So be it at home, be it at workplace, be it with your friends, or be it when you're partying with your friends in the night and you come back home. Yes. So there are so many times just in one day that you can practice these phrases. Because like I said, we love to eat and we are always hungry, just like me. And just like these words out here, they are hungry too. So I'm gonna quickly give them something and I'll be back with a new session soon. Till then you take care, keep watching and keep learning.